We're turning now to the modernization journey and making sure that updated services, architecture and platforms are fully future-proofed. One of Canada's oldest financial institutions, the Bank of Montreal, is uh, building for the future on Amazon Web Services. And to look at this journey in more detail, we're joined by Jim Fanning, Director of Global Financial Services at AWS, and Garit Sidhu, CIO, North American Treasury and Payment Solutions, BMO. Gentlemen, welcome to Cybos TV. You still look full Thank of you. beans, considering it's been a busy week for you both, I'm sure. Uh, Garit, I'm going to start with you, sir. Uh, what are you hearing from your customers right now, and how is that influencing BMO's major business objectives? Yeah, absolutely. Um, customers want simple, easy, reliable services. They have businesses to run and grow. They don't want to spend their days and hours uh, managing their treasury payments and receivables. They want to come in, review their treasury decisions, take the actions, and get back to running their business. And so uh, part of what we've been doing is supporting the, uh, our, our customers through automation. So things like we have a full suite of commercial APIs that we make available. We've made targeted investments in virtualization of accounts and uh, payment cards, as well as we've been growing our partnerships through our marketplace to allow to meet our customers where and how they want to bank, right? So through integrations with the likes of Zero and Modern Treasury mm -hmm. and allowing our customers to have a variety of ways to bank with us through their ERP accounting or treasury management solutions. Okay, so how does your team mobilize for success then and, and, and build for success in the future? Yeah, one of the tenets of our strategy is what we call digital first. And digital is more than just a channel, right? It's about how we're leading delivery for our customers as well as our employees. Um, and, you know, one of the tenets or one of the ways that we need to achieve that is also through talent. So acquiring, growing, and developing talent that's going to modernize and innovate through the modernization of our technology platforms, right? So these are individuals who are driving the transformation and really harnessing the prospect as well as the scale of um, modern and emerging uh, technologies such as cloud, data, and AI. And your team at the bank has been leading with technology and adopting new ways of working to drive value for customers. But how does working with AWS and leveraging some of their innovation programs allow you guys to accelerate outcomes while prioritizing security? Yeah, 100%. Like, our partnership with AWS has really been around innovation and getting to market faster for our customers. One of the things that's really helped us is the EBA program, so the accelerated um, the experience-based acceleration. Um, it's a program that essentially brings together subject matter, domain, and technical experts from both organizations. Think of it as a five-day sprint mm -hmm. around a set of use cases that we want a solution on. So for teams that are early in their journey to cloud or emerging technologies, it's a great way to bring that full discipline together and ideate, uh, go through conceptualization, solution, and deploy uh, use cases as a collective in five days, right? So that covers the full spectrum, functional and non-functional aspects such as security. One of the great wins that we had was recently was our movement of the North American and Treasury Payments helped us to Amazon Connect, right? We were able to do that in a matter of weeks, where historically it would have taken us months. Yeah. And through that journey, we leveraged capabilities such as Contact Lens that gives us greater insight into data and insights into our customers and how we can serve them better going forward. Jim, if I can bring you in to give sure. a little color and detail perhaps on how AWS is helping banks, large banks in particular, and other financial services uh, innovate and transform whilst mm -hmm. also ensuring security and, and compliance. Yeah, well, for us, security is job zero. I mean, that, that's absolutely fundamental. And so the way we do that, a large part of it comes through automation. So whether customers are migrating existing applications to AWS or, or building net new businesses and developing them on AWS, we want to make sure that they, they build right from the start, and automation is a huge part of that. So really building in automation on, on all parts of the application stack and their operations. So that helps our customers focus on innovating while uh, automating a lot of the security controls that might have previously required manual intervention. A mm. uh, second piece of it is our deep experience in financial services. So we, we've spent the last really 10 years building up a ton of subject matter expertise hiring people from the industry. And what that translates into is today we have over 140 security controls and, and uh, compliance standards that we support on AWS. And that's a huge benefit for our customers because they know that they're starting out on the, in the right place. Mm. Great. what about payments in particular? How is BMO and your team in Treasury and Payment Solutions preparing for the future of payments? 
Yeah, like, you know, to me, the payment space continues to remain in a, in a period of very high change, right? If we look at um, the core payment platforms in Canada, it's gone through a modernization. Right. Real-time payments in Canada and the U.S. through FedNow and RTR in Canada. So it's, you know, our platforms and our, our talent has to be able to scale to that pace of change as well, while ensuring reliability um, and um, the operational excellence that we've enjoyed for, for a long period of time. So our partnership with AWS is really building out um, sort of uh, those patterns that are going to allow us to leverage the capabilities, but also have the scale, the extensibility, and the reliability that we've enjoyed on the on-prem solutions, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a high pace of change. Mm -hmm. We've got to make sure our tech stack can support it. Jim, what uh, trends are you guys seeing at AWS as banks migrate and mm -hmm. modernize their payment solutions and infrastructure into the AWS cloud? Yeah, I think it starts with platform modernization, and, and the journey is different for a variety of our different customers. You know, for some, that modernization starts with taking existing systems, migrating them, and then sort of modernizing in place with their existing technology providers. Mm. That's one part of the journey. Um, for others, it might be transforming into microservices and, and leveraging uh, new uh, technology pr uh, partners as part of that journey. Great referred earlier to experience-based acceleration. We love that program because it's learning by doing and, and there's huge value in that. Um, so that would be one piece, you know, just helping customers uh, migrate at the pace that they need and the, and, the, and the way that they need to do it. Well, gentlemen, a big, uh, a big part of this year's Cybos has been a collaborative finance and it's good to see a great example of it here with us on the final day. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time on Cybos TV. Uh, do enjoy the remaining hours here in Toronto. That's Jim Fanning, Director of Global Financial Services at AWS and Garit Sidhu, CIO, North American Treasury and Payment Solutions, BMO. Gentlemen, thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.